Hey yo, uh, patch notes time. Uh, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. We got tier coming. Uh, sadly, no new story chapter this update, but I, I feel like it's it's fun, bro. Uh, we got like three relics. Well, not three relics. I think it's like two. We got a, a tier and like two other relics. We got a card set that like increases like giants. Um, I believe it's like damage reduction and like them hitting harder. I I, I can only assume this is only gonna be good for like PV e type of stuff like guild boss or something so we got liz uh i oh hold on i don't want to show this on screen show it on screen devil it wasn't even on the, on that um monitor but uh we do get tier well let me get um liz translations for her thingy and then i'll get frayers frayers is pretty good pretty good so we got liz for one particular ally in battle your damage is increased by 10 percent and your uh hold on let me see uh, and your damage is reduced by 5%. And, uh, also before recovery is activated in her passive, you know, like when she uses six cards, she heals or something like that. Before that procs, you remove an infect. Not all debuffs, just infects, you know, infect is probably the biggest thing that cooked her, but hey, we'll take it. The, the specific ally is, uh, goddess and seven daily sins. So it's pretty big for them. Uh, give them damage dealt and damage reduction. That's pretty nice. Uh, angels already have damage reduction. So that extra 5%, but so what? Does it not counter itself? So I'm guessing 10% damage reduction on top of my old team. I guess that's pretty nice. With Tristan backline, he's getting outfits now. Big W. Uh, and then we have Freyr's Relic for one particular ally in battle. The base, uh, whoa. Let me zoom out. That's what that is. <laughs> uh, for one particular ally in the battle, the base stats of uh, that ally increase by 5%. The damage inflicted by single target skills increase by 5%. Specific allies, Ragnarok, uh, or unknown characters. So that's pretty big. It's pretty. He's pretty good with uh, the new tier. Uh, we'll get into this information right now. Let's go ahead and uh, click here and look at the banner itself too. And I'm going to tell you if you should, you should summon. So. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't think... If you're free to play, probably no. Just 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 skip. Um, he's good, but I wouldn't say he's like a must have or anything like that. He's just like an overall good character. He's not for one specific type of content. You can use him in demonic beast if you want to. You can use him in PvP. He is not set. He is not like that guy. You know, he's not the person. Um, he got his, his first skill is uh I have it over here. <laughs> <laughs> over here let me let me open it up in browser uh deals 500 percent penetration damage and then his uh second skill is aoe weak point which is good i thought it was gonna be like crap until i saw his passive and then his ultimate for two turns give your allies 30 percent uh attack related stats and then deals 525 percent of attack on all enemies and it has sever which is pretty nice pretty 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 nice and then here's his passive and his bond, his new unity, uh, his little blue thing. You know how like Blue Roxy has a uh, link for like humans. He has one for Ragnarok and or unknown allies. So at the start of the battle, this is passive. At the start of the battle, give a specific ally rampage and provokes the enemy for one turn. For each specific ally in battle, the ally damage dealt increases by five percent. So if you have a full Ragnarok team, well the the specific ally is Ragnarok. If you have a Ragnarok team, you get 15% damage dealt, and your critical damage increased by 45%. So that's pretty nice. Also, at the start of the ally's turn, all enemies receive 40% critical resistance reduction effect for one turn. So you can put a debuff on them that makes you hit harder, like a truck, basically. It, it, you, your skills get buffed, and you lower their crit resistance, which is, which is very nice. Um, also, Rage. When using skills, attack power increased by 1.5 up to 50% for each 1% HP that is decreased, uh, that, that you're missing essentially. So if you're at full HP, you're going to be doing this much, but then if you're like missing 50% or if you're missing like a lot of HP, let's, let's say it's like reverse flood kind of with flood, the more HP you have in your like health bar, the harder you hitting. But with this, with this like rage mechanic, the less you have, the harder you hit. <laughs> so if you go second and you take some damage, not, ne not necessarily you're gonna die. Let let's say you're missing like 25% HP, you're gonna hit harder like compared to if you go first and you know you have 100% HP and you do something with them. So pretty nice. Uh, damage dealt uh, by single attacks are increased by 15%. That on top of Freyr Relic is gonna be like pretty potent. So 
I'm imagining Tyr with Freya. And Freya is like usable, but in the live stream they did use Sigurd because he applies a debuff and you get attack from Sigurd. That's that's viable too. Uh, he, he seems to be a demon destroyer, but him against Bond, I don't know. They didn't show him up against Bond. We'll have to see. Uh, then his unity, his Bond, uh, of a specific ally with a unity effect applied, increased critical defense by 60%, uh, increases unity effect according to special uh move skill so i'm assuming like at 160 he's probably gonna be like maybe like 20 or 30 percent critical defense if you slap this on like galane bro oh my god bro. oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my god uh and then on the banner you have secret green thonar green brunhild Magelda. okay basically beast units with freya i need freya so bad like, I need her to drop for real, for real. And this is 600 banner. Let's go back to see what else we got. We got the card set. We went over the relics. Uh, The new, this uh third one will finally be open in the world tree, which is nice. And in the shop, you can get um the SSR mats from the demonic piece. So if you're missing out on a couple, you know, do this stage a little bit. And you, can, you can get those. And you get LR coins. That's massive. I'm guessing you can get one from the shop. If so, that's kind of whack. <laughs> it's kind of whack, is it not? Uh, this one says you can get up to two, and this you can only get one, one a week. Oh, yo, they they were like, yeah, you can get it, but it's gonna take an eternity. This is like if you're like two off or something like that, you could probably let's say you you um missed like Heroes Arena like a couple times, and you're like, oh, you know, I'm too short, and it's like just wait two weeks, you can get L R Lost Fan. So here's outfits. They don't seem to be too great in my opinion, honestly. Oh, this one is just gems, the mafia boss. We got the pirate king, and then we got um Sun Wukong skin. And then Tristan finally gets his outfits. W. We did see a CC. His CC was like at 67 on HP defense. Yeah, I think it was like 66. At, I'm, that's low ball, 66k. And then Tristan was like 65k. Uh, I'm assuming he was on HP defense, but I don't think they showed it. Bro got a blue Lilia skin. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. Uh, diamond set bonus. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's devil territory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Four new packs. Uh, what is this? 10 oh for like for like 12 bucks oh that's a lot high key might pick that up i, I need like demon mats for real for real uh anvils eh, this really ain't the greatest i haven't really been getting anvil packs like that because i feel like i don't really need it i've been working on gear like that but uh, I, I assume I, I will in the future and then you got cosmetic upgrades oh my god like like that's like 40 bucks i'm good bro <laughs> okay ragnarok special login okay so you get like 30 uh xp potions and then six pendants and then like 20 uh free to play ssr uh awakening uh coins nice i mean that's something prayers go gift card event you just flip the cards and you get stuff www <laughs> and then you get uh was a croc boss okay we got croc shell boss yeah he was green i remember people in the live stream saying he was like wasn't he green yeah he is green but this is just his transform state uh right brunhild's outfit comes back too i don't understand why i keep giving this up please stop giving this bro it's so easy to get this <laughs> we get the card set from here uh you get some ssr you get an as sorry well, well that might get like three what three ssr tickets a couple of anvils a couple of uh i said pendants or tickets tickets and then pendants yeah 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 Cool, 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 cool. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Um, we're we're familiar how to play. Uh, exchange lineup. Yep, you can get all that stuff there. Free GP guys. If you haven't gotten it, if you haven't gotten this, get it. Free GP. And you got a UI pendant. Yo, w w Hawk Pass. Who's the free Hawk Pass skin? I am Bond. Oh, oh, okay. They did show the the marathon outfit for Bond in the live stream, and I was like, what's the Hawk Pass skin? I thought that was this was just coming out, but cool cool sure i have yet to even do a video on this but i'm good he he just got lost in like all of the commotion that is the the um anniversary but hey uh i'll make sure to do a bond one because you know he's like still relevant uh battle event yay pendants one pendant you love to see it I, i'm still you comment down below when, when's the last time you did one of these battle events i promise you bro they need to up the rewards for this make it like five and then five gems and then like double this and maybe we're talking because this is just like it's just something bro it's, it's no point doing this stuff like i haven't done a battle event in legit like two years ladies and gentlemen i promise you uh balance adjustments for nidhogg uh beast gauge and phase three on first floor changes from 200 to 100 oh okay 
The amount of gauge that decreases when using other skills in phase three on the first floor. Let's say when we're using penetration skills. Oh, will be applied the same way. Okay. The infection, the infect effect applied on phase two will be changed to a debuff effect red icon. And the applied term will be changed to one term. The magic beast gauge in phase one and fourth floor will be changed from 200 to 120. Oh, that's like a big, big, big change, bro. Improved me recommendation friend function. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Uh, fix an issue where village visitor was on this very quick. Yeah, all right. I, I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, change deletion schedule. What special dish? Oh, it's called on the 6th of July. And then what greed festival special pickup gotcha. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's it. All right, y'all. That's it. Not too much, which is kind of like disappointing. It's only like two relics and like a new character, but that's cool. I believe the relics. I can't get a relic if I do Nidhogg like tonight or even right now. Hell, I think I might get Freyers. Yeah, because he's like really good with a uh, bro. She's good too. Like if you have enough, obviously you can get both. But like me, I'm a procrastinator. I only got enough to get like one. Or if a, a new, uh, if that pack resets, I don't think it will because it, it'll probably reset in like two or three days or something like that with, with a new month. I can get hers. But if I, if you have to, if you have to choose which one to get, obviously, if you're skipping, I would say go ahead and get Lizzie's. But uh, for me, I'm a content creator. Uh, I got to get. I'm getting tiered tonight, so I'm gonna use them with Freyr, so I'll probably get Freyr. So uh thank y'all for watching. Y'all enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all later.